trusting the eyes of the heart to see beyond the obvious, tune into the magnificence of what lives below, within, and beyond. Seeing the invisible and bringing it through color and form into something that might be seen, something that might be shared. Wondering if we dare, what could we bring forth from that place where imagination and divine wisdom meet? Trusting the lightless journey of incubation, even as we seek <laughs> the right lighting to reveal both what is here now, what has been, and what might be. Our whole lives is seeking for what's always and could only ever be around and within, everywhere, perhaps invisible because it is the water in which we swim. so obvious and yet it helps us to spell to spell out these understandings and in that spelling strengthen what we wish to believe in that one who truly loves cannot help but be a revolutionary that love is found where you look And the revolutionary is not one who seeks to destroy simply for the sake of destruction, but rather to participate in the natural evolution of life where all revolves and we might find perhaps a solution, a dissolving of what is not true and no longer healthy and helpful a blending together of that which supports life's unfolding. Recognizing that these are the times to let ourselves see, to let ourselves be seen, to grieve what has been and what will no longer be. And in that exquisite precision, in that subtle defining, in that letting go, reminding ourselves of the wisdom that some part of ourselves never actually forgot, no matter what we've been taught of what truth, beauty, and art actually are. We come back again and again to our own North Star our own intrinsic, unequivocal, emergent understanding of the power and necessity of creativity. Coming to understand that not only do we perceive more truthfully in our deep looking but it is also our observation that enables creation. Just as a particle changes their behavior when they're being observed by a consciousness, so too does life respond to our witnessing and we feed life in part with our attention so if we look truly and deeply with the eyes of love, what we see becomes loved, loving, 
and lovable. And thus the revolution, not simply about destruction, is reminding the seer and the seen that love is what heals. Love is what brings us back to the truth, helps us be accountable and responsible, helps us remember our power, our purpose, and the nature and necessity of beauty. What are you looking for? How careful your gaze, your hand. What are the drops of nectar falling from you? And how do you receive the fecundity of life's nourishment? What are the frequencies sent forth by your thoughts and your words and your wishes and your complaints and your prayers? What do you define? What do you keep alive by your believing in it and your sharing of it? What survives the layers and revisions and editing and forgetting? Knowing, of course, that all we've experienced, just like the layers of this painting, are there, even if no longer visible to the naked eye. And what do we choose to bring forth as the most visible, the most evident? What will we carry with us down the river of time? What will we highlight? How will we shine? What will we smooth? What will we keep rough and wild? What edges do we allow to soften? What edges do we keep precise. I am not certain where we go from here. The future is still and always <laughs> unclear. But I know that we are served by listening. We'll need to learn to look, not just with the mind, but with the eyes of the body and the heart. And there, love will be found. <laughs>